Hello, welcome back to John Rudge's talk show. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you something I believe is from the heart of God, a message that is very, very important uh, for you to hear. Over the last few months I've been having a stirring in my spirit about this, and it's actually really been coming because I've been really blessed in church. That's really what started it. When I say church, I go to a house church. Um, I go to Heaven's Gate International, sorry, Heaven's Gate um, Church, which is part of the Ignite Ministries International. Uh, Pastor Christopher Cass, um, and basically Chris has got a real heart for people to experience the power of God and to have an intimacy with the Holy Spirit and to basically have an encounter with God. And, and this has been happening in our little. Uh, house church, you know, over the last few weeks and even months. Uh, I've become amazed at how God has been touching me. I mean, I've been uh, on the floor. Uh, I've been really touched by the power of God. Uh, there's a few of us who have literally been thrown down to the floor. We've been shaking. We've been just so filled with holy laughter. We've been laughing and laughing. And it's the, the laughter of God, of the Holy Spirit. The power of God, and I've been so, you know, excited about how God's been moving in in this church. Now, I'm not saying your church isn't the same, because praise God, you know, God's moving all over the world. But there's something very important that He's put in my heart. He's shown me uh, this, and I'm going to tell you right now, and that's this, okay? And this is going to shock you. Be prepared to be shocked, because you might be thinking, you know. Where are you coming from? What planet did you come from? But believe me, this is this is truth, and you can test it. Test it with the word. And th let me just say it: what what I believe God's God showed me. Christianity is not the way to God. What? What? How? How can? How dare you say that? You might be thinking. No, let me explain. <laughs> Christianity is not the way to God. Muslim religion, Islam, is not the way to God. Hinduism is not the way to God. Catholics, Catholicism, is not the way to God. Okay? No other religion, no religion, is not the way to God. I don't, I'm just trying to think of all the religions. There's hundreds of them. They're all false. And you might be thinking, what on earth... What planet did you come from? What kind of person are you, you, you? You're supposed to be a religious. I'm going to explain, but I just want you to just be shocked because I want that religious spirit to just break off you right now. Because let me tell you about religion. Religion is demonic. What does demonic mean? It means of the devil. And there is a... There is a demon spirit. I don't know if it's a principality or a small spirit. I don't know. But it's a demonic spirit of religion. But God has shown me something else. There is a demonic spirit of Christian religion. Because Christianity, Hinduism, Muslim religion, all the rest of this, they are, they, there is no way that you can get to God through these religions. And there is only one way to God, and that's Jesus. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way to the Father but by me. And one thing I need to clarify, and we might have to take some shows to just stay on this, because people are just so shocked by this. And you shouldn't be. Because... I'm not contradicting the Bible at all, because nowhere in the Bible does it say that, you know, Christianity is the way. It says Jesus is the way. And we need to focus, we need to get back to talking about Jesus. Now, there is a demonic spirit behind Christian religion. And it's all about being in that comfort zone, but Jesus wants to come and break every comfort zone so that you're not comfortable in religion. But he wants to break that religious spirit off you 
so that you no longer see church as the way or Christianity as the way but you see Jesus as the way there's a lot in this, there's so much in this but you see even in the Bible the word church doesn't exist if you go to certain places like America and even in England and many countries people come to church but why? And I'm telling you today, if, if you don't go to a church where the power of the Holy Spirit is there, where God's presence is there, where, like in our church, my church, where I go, where you're wasting your time. Going back to what I said, the word church does not exist. If you look at the word, what that word church is translated in the Hebrew, it actually means ecclesia. That's the word. It means ecclesia. What does that mean? It means the gathering together. And so church shouldn't be going to a building, some build brick and mortar, to um, to sing songs, uh, to you know supposedly worship God. I mean, we need to hold, as a whole load of shows to talk about that. Really, what is true worship? Well, we we forget all that. You know doing the offering, taking the announcement, doing the announcements, and we haven't got time to, to get into God's presence because we might offend people, you see. So, the fear of man is what dominates this, this people who are under the influence of religious spirits, and also pride, because, don't forget, a religious demon goes hand in hand with a demon of pride. Now, I learned that from John Bevere, and I, I agree with him, because the spirit of pride goes hand in hand with the spirit of religion. Now, for those of you who aren't Christians, forgive me, I know I'm talking probably to you, you've never heard about this, but demons are evil spirits, they are very real, and they are the enemy of God, and they will pretend, they will pretend to be all nice and everything. But did you know? God never wants you to be nice. He never wanted you to be nice. He doesn't even want you to be good. Niceness and many forms of goodness in us is demonic. Totally demonic. Because God doesn't want you to be nice. He wants you to live in truth. One other thing. The enemy of God is pride. And the opposite of good is not evil. You think, what? The opposite of good? Alright? So, sorry, I've got that wrong. Sorry. The enemy, the, the opposite of evil, sorry, Satan is evil. I've just said that wrong. The, en the opposite of evil is not good. The, the opposite of evil is, is truth. And that's biblical, you can study that. Truth is what we stand for, not goodness. Not religion, not niceness. Niceness in God's people can be completely demonic. And it's, again, it's all about this pride, you know, wanting to look good in the eyes of men. The fear of man. We need to fear God. We need to be set free from the fear of man. We need to fear God. And we need to break out of religious rubbish which is predominant in this, in this country. Church can be a waste of time if you don't go somewhere where Jesus is manifesting the Holy Spirit and the power of God. So we're nearly out of time on this show. I just want to thank you for watching. Please come back on the next show. Do not be offended because this is real, this is amazing and God is going to touch you and I'm going to pray for you on the next show. God bless. See you next time. Thank you for watching.